Hi everyone, I'm Michel. I am the co-founder and the CEO of Airbyte. Welcome to Airbyte 1.0. I just want to go down memory lane. Like, why did we even start Airbyte? You know, in 2020, John and I, we talked to hundreds of companies and every single one of these companies had to build a brittle in-house solution to work around the lack of extensibility of legacy system. And the reason for that is very simple. There is an explosion in the complexity of data. Today, I want to show you how Airbyte 1.0 is solving that complexity for you in a fast, reliable, and scalable way. One, what our core platform is and what went into it. How we're addressing the needs of at scale organization with self-managed enterprise. How we are tackling the long tail of every possible data silo. And last thing is how we're pushing more and more data to support Gen AI this case. And we had that conversation along the year, like, when do we do 1.0? When do we do 1.0? We actually had three main criteria. We wanted Airbyte to be easy to start. We wanted Airbyte to adapt to the growing needs and use cases of companies. And we also wanted a proven track record of reliability. Now we have four demos that we've prepared for you. And the first one is focused on the Airbyte platform. Today I want to show off our open source solution. And to do that, I'm going to be using the ABCTL tool. Let's install Airbyte. The easiest way, if you're on Mac or Linux, is to use this curl command. On Mac, you can also just use homebrew. And I'll do a curl to this getairbyte.com and I'll get ABCTL installed. Over the past four years, Airbyte has proven to be a solution for production workflow. Today, we're super excited to introduce Self-Managed Enterprise. Self-Managed Enterprise extends on Airbyte 1.0 by introducing new classes of functionality. Airbyte Self-Managed Enterprise is fully multi-tenant and supports single sign-on for many large identity providers. The Enterprise Role-Based Access Management page allows you to configure permissions across all of the members of your Airbyte organization. As part of our 1.0 announcement, we've heavily invested in our S3, Databricks, and Iceberg destinations. We're excited to share support for PII masking and self-managed enterprise. Now, let's talk a little bit more about connectors and data pipeline. I want to show you how we are making it a breeze for anyone to build, extend, and maintain new data pipeline. And I'm excited to share with you today the launch of the connector marketplace to address the long tail of data connectors. Our connector marketplace is the home for all of our community-maintained connectors, and as of today, contains about 200 sources and destinations. But to solve the long tail, we need a way to enable everyone to build connectors in minutes. I'm so excited to show you AI Assist. And to show you how it works, paste in the URL of the API documentation. And just like that, we have a connector that is instantly fully functional and ready to sync data. If you cannot do data warehousing, you should not do AI. We will show you how Airbyte is powering the data layer of the Gen AI world. Today, I'll be demoing how anyone can build their own chatbot using PyAirbyte. Our source data in this case will come from GitHub. We'll load it automatically to an internal DuckDB cache, and we'll use the new PG vector destination to perform chunking, vector embedding, and loading to PG vector. We're going to create a simple function function here that takes any question you might have and converts it into a numeric representation. It's been an amazing past four years and I'm really looking forward to the years to come. Thank you again so much for your support and for your contributions.